What's up ladies and gentlemen, Spade here, and welcome back to some more Tales of Azalea. We're still continuing on. And we went on our way to try and take down Melchior. It's still July 29th, and the time right now is 11.38 a.m. And with that said, let's just continue and make our way up the volcano. I think those are new enemies. Well, let's just ignore them for now. Because I'm so sure going to run into them soon enough. Damn. Just like that. <laughs> when I say it. I had a week to run up that way. Obvious enough of a guess, I guess. You're not hurt, are you? No, I'm fine. Wait, what's over here? It's just alright. Well, let's do this guy if we even can. At least this guy has a weakness. And he is absolutely giant. And what's he weak to again? Normal, alright. No, oh, it just turns this up. I use a weak list of a pillar. I was a single part of zero. <laughs> That's all I was really seeing. At least this guy would actually hold. So I to figure how you actually had that other kind of demon. Be careful, guys. Oh, we know that at some point. I refuse to fall here. Are you pretty fast? You're definitely a new enemy. L55. I would switch things back to somewhat normal. Thank you. 
Yeah, we're pretty much going for the water for the most part. Might as well use our weaknesses against them, right? Possibly make things a bit easier. It appears that we're finished here. Yep. Oh, that was a cat's box. I definitely feel like we missed one though. I definitely feel like we missed one here. Or well, maybe not. I we got the one there. I guess I just thought there was going to be one that I escaped. We were in, but I guess not. We just need one last soul to awaken the elemental Empyreans. Are you alright, Velvet? I'll eat Melchior, and our collection will be complete. I'm not worried about that. I'm worried about you. You collapsed after the thing with Teresa and Oscar, remember? <sighs> You wonder if I'm fine after eating Shigure. It's not a problem. But wasn't Shigure a lot more powerful than they were? But look at me. I'm fine, right? Does it seem like I'm faking it? No. I think I'm just used to it. Both my body and mind. You're not just used to it. You've changed. Mm -hmm. Just as I changed after finding my free will, You've gotten stronger through our travels, too. You faced down many sorrows and hardships, and overcame them all. Did I, though? You did. And that's why I... Ah. I'll make you a quiche later. Could you make pudding, too? Sure. But are you just trying to butter me up so I'll cook for you? Well, I mean... Uh, yeah. How did you know? You really have grown a lot, haven't you? All right, let's go and find me some Melchior to eat. Yeah! Hmm. Well, they seem pumped up about. Oh, hi, what's up, y'all? Pale cat spirits. Oh, well, I feel I might as well collect them. No, oh, keep moving. I saw anything over this way. Probably just a chest. Most likely. Yep. Right, let's get on out of here. And hopefully not get in a fight. And at this point, I don't think it even matters if don't waste my time. we even for the explore area. 
We found the cat's butt, so there's no real need to at this point. I know we have enough cats for us at every box in the game. So there's no point. Also, just want to the chest. Which seems pointless as well. Let's just make our way to the top. Slowly. I'm not sure what Melchior is really capable of. What kind of man is he? To put it short, he's the exorcist's shadow. Their shadow? They're supposed to be free of malevolence, but they're only human. And so are those who they want to save. But sincerity and conviction alone won't save the world. To remain free of malevolence, they need someone to do their dirty work. A shadow. I see. And that's Melchior's job. During all my time at the Abbey, I was never aware of what he was really doing. So, why hasn't he succumbed to malevolence? Because his belief in the Exorcists as the saviors of the world is pure and unyielding. It is a mountain of ice that will neither boil, nor melt, nor break. I know the depths of his frozen heart all too well. Oh, uh, wait! Does that mean you...? Yes. Melchior was raising me to be the shadow for the next leader of the Exorcists. Artorius himself. But that was a terrible mistake. I was unable to live up to his expectations. So if things had gone as he planned, we'd be fighting you instead of Melchior. I'm glad that didn't have to happen. True. If Mogulu was running the Abbey... They would be completely unpredictable. That would be fearsome. Maybe. But doesn't that sound like a whole lot of fun? So Melchior was my shadow too. Oh, feeling too sympathetic to fight him. I wouldn't say that. There's nothing to be sad about. Removing shadows is part of a shadow's job. Even if I'm a failed shadow, I'm still a witch and I cast a deeper darkness. Whatever you say, Mario. I just because we never fought these guys yet. Mine's way. Uh, that was a quick battle. Are you hurt? Quicker than I thought. I can see the peak in the just top. ahead. If Melchior's anywhere, he's there. Be careful. That crafty old buzzard is nothing like Shigure. He won't fight us head on. Yeah, I can see that. I might as well go down here. And collect everything that's down here. For the most part. Let's head for the top. Is victory for us really possible? We're facing the Legate, Lord Melchior. I'd give us around four to one against. Four to one? Are our chances that slim? Almost every trick I or any current exorcist knows can be traced back to him. If I throw out three arts at once, he'll pull six out of his hat. He knows our capabilities and he's got far more power. Four to one might be generous. I suppose you're right. However, we have 
Velvet, the boy, and Rokuro. Who knows what value they'll add when they run amok? It's impossible to calculate, but if luck goes our way, our chances will rise considerably. Right. We're challenging the hardest possible foe. But I'm only talking about a straight-up fight, knowing Melky or he'll have some nasty tricks. No matter how you analyze it, the outlook is grim. Aizen, you too? What's wrong with a level-headed look at things? Careful consideration could give us the tool we need to turn the odds in our favor. After all, Magilu, forewarned is forearmed, right? Yes, that's true. Even still, we won't find a weakness in him. Let's take another hard look. What we need might be lying right at our feet. At our feet, eh? I'll keep my eyes on the ground as we walk then. Hmm. Soon that we actually use the tier board finally. <laughs> and here at least. Too bad it's probably not going by the high time we get there. <laughs> I guess we actually need it to progress. Very long walks. That's definitely one thing this game has going for it. If anything. At this point I'm curious. What's over this way then? Where we need to be apparently. <laughs> Just put that on the map. And see where this other path goes. Oh, that's a little exit route, maybe. Oh, I'm not so afraid. These guys are too high level for us, this one in the middle. Sadly. That'd be so much more convenient though. Not too much going on that squirrel. I at least want to see where this path goes before anything else. It seems like it simply goes nowhere. <laughs> Hmm. 
damn. I was hoping to avoid that entirely. I just want to just go to make our way to build you know, finally. Hey, is everyone alright? Because there's no need to really stick around here. I know there's a lot to do, but I don't care really. I have to at least check out that area first. Before we fire, might as well save it. You never know what will happen. Alright, we're here. Time to kick your ass finally. Milky Wall. The four elemental Imperiums are the beings that maintain the balance and harmony between Earth, Water, Wind, and Fire. Have we even stopped to think about why they sleep? About what waking them will do to this world's order? Not really. I don't much care. They sleep because of arrogance. Insolent wretches like you. The Imperians derive their power and that of their blessings from the prayers of the pure at heart. But humans became corrupted and neglected their prayers. The forgotten Imperians drifted into slumber. Human prayers are the source of their power? Just like the Malachim. Are you trying to say Inominat blesses someone when he eats their soul? As the fifth Imperium, Inominat's purpose is to eat human souls, malevolence and all, and to wipe the slate clean. When all mankind is once again pure as a newborn babe, the elemental Imperians can be safely revived. You want to wipe the slate? But that means... Yes, civilization will crumble. The spread of malevolence, the cleansing of the Nominat, the cycle has repeated countless times over the eons. That is why human civilization rises and falls. But if this continues, humanity will never surpass a certain threshold. Thus, the Abbey will control Illuminat's power, so that we may guide humanity into a new, better era. It all makes sense now. You developed the art of armatization to control Illuminat. And, in order to create the Armatus, you needed the technology found in Siegfried, didn't you? So that's why you got Eifried involved in all of this. Just as light cannot 
not exist without darkness. No great achievement comes without sacrifice. Even I must be made tribute for the sake of our ideal world! Arvanus! No, you don't! Aizen, stop! I told you, he's a crafty old buzzard. I should have known it wouldn't be that simple. Rebellious fools, And I'll go and up to the kind of citizen of Corvus. It's more than once now. He's level 56. Demi Melchior. Okay. There's something, if anything. Interesting design, though. Not really make the voice too hard, no good. He's getting there, very well. <laughs> and that's so be it. to his life. Centuries, even. Is that what you call rational? Sounds like an obsession. <sighs> I've said the same thing thousands of times. If it were my choice, I'd have let myself die naturally long ago. But did he not say? Man can turn reason into disorder. But also, can we surpass it? Our true power is in transcending the possible to achieve the ideal. So were the words of the exorcist Claudin. They were foolish. Think what you will. I'll show you the truth of his words. Think illusions will work on us now? <laughs> Not in the least. But it bought me enough time to finish my art. Are you trying to set off the volcano? You'll die too! As long as I take the Lord of Calamity with me, I have no regrets. That's because I follow reason! 
And you're insane. are a real pain, aren't they? What was that? The elemental Empyreans have awoken. We are free. We will no longer be your tools. Oh dear. What's happening? You saved us, Mogulu. Thanks. If you hadn't thrown Melchior off balance, we'd all be dead. I settled my own affairs. Nothing more. But if you want to thank me, I accept gifts. I take it back. He couldn't hurt those flowers. Was that his oath? No. That old fool loved flowers more than anything else. Far more than he did any living human. That's all there was to it. I suppose even a legate can never fully control his heart. Same goes for a witch. Sometimes living can be the hardest affliction. Have the four elemental Empyreans awakened? Who knows? But anything that would sleep through that isn't worth our time. Better watch your mouth or they'll smite you. I can feel a shift in Inominat's domain. Yeah. All four of them have awoken. Inominat has been pushed out from the Earth Pulses. Humanity's amplified resonances will diminish, and many Malachim will regain their free will. The Exorcists will likely lose a good chunk of their forces. Eleanor, have you lost your ability to fight too? Sorry to disappoint, but I can still see you. Evil demons, Malachim, and witches alike. You know where he is. I can feel him. His body has left the Earth pulses. He's somewhere above the Empyrean's throne now. Arturius is with him. However, Inominat is pushing back against the other Empyreans with incredible force. If the four are defeated, we'll lose our last chance. No time to waste. Let's go. It's time to end this. Yeah! <laughs> The mountain doesn't appear to be erupting, or doing anything else, really. I'd say that's a relief. Were Melchior's claims only a bluff? I'm not convinced. 
most of his threats had as much truth in them as he could muster. With the four Empyreans revived, the land is awakened. Changes in the Earth that once took eons will now happen in a few hundred years. A few hundred years? The mountain will erupt, but not for a long while. A long while to a human, maybe. But compared to the history of the land, it'll be a blink of an eye. But you know me not as the Empyrean of suppression. Who can say what will happen when we kill him? <gasps> well, it's not like I care anyway. I think we should care. Melchior sure was strong, wasn't he? Yeah. If it weren't for Mogilu's help, we wouldn't have stood a chance. But you saw the opening she gave us and took it. Did you want to be the one to finish him off? If it mattered to me, I'd have fought him alone. We all had our reasons to fight him. The opportunity just happened to be yours. That's all there is to it. I understand. If Melchior had only manipulated Eifried for personal reasons, then that would be settled now. But he was acting based on his idea of reason. That creating a world without malevolence was worth the cost of destroying people's free will. Eifried won't be avenged until I destroy that very philosophy. Your business with the Abbey isn't done. Not even close. You all could just sit around twiddling your thumbs, and I'd still take the heads of Artorias and Enominat on my own. If you want to be the ones to finish them off, you'll have to beat me to it. <laughs> You're on. I'll fight with everything I've got. That's all I can do. That's plenty. I really don't mean to pry, but I've got to know. Does it feel good to pinch all those souls out from your stomach? That's kind of a gross way of putting it. I have to agree with Velvet. The way you put it sounds so inappropriate. I'm pretty sure that was her point. Oh, I'm sorry. Why so cranky? I was only asking to see if you were getting hungry or not. Then ask that in the first place. Are you? Hungry, that is. I do feel hungry, now that you mention it. But I don't think it has to do with losing those souls. Then why is it? Maybe my appetite is increasing as Inominat's suppression weakens. Yeah, suddenly feeling hungry myself. My stomach could start growling at any moment. I have been thinking of nothing but delicious things to eat for a while now. I bet Mogilu only brought it up because she's feeling peckish herself. No, no, that's not the reason at all. That settles it then. When we get back to the ship, you can take guard duty while we eat. I'll make a quiche and pudding. I'll cook up some penguin and tomato stew. Ooh, I'd love to try your cooking, Madam Eleanor. Let's get back to the ship. <laughs> Getting all fired up about food. I would never. I would kill for a big bowl of sweet Kalegian style borscht! Then go find me some peaches. Why peaches? Because you can't have Kalegian borscht without peach pie for dessert. Hello, Skits. I know I tried to turn the volume a bit. And this mouse decided to just pump the volume almost to max. This computer mouse is really driving me nuts over the past week. Every little thing I do, it thinks I want to do something else. And that in turn drives me insane. It makes anything annoying. It makes doing anything annoying. I think my audio just glitched. I think. Alright, uh, hopefully this is the last skit. We found quite a few geo trees so far. I feel like I've run three marathons back to back. I'm sorry, Bienfu. That's okay. All this exercise is making me nice and buff. You're right. You don't look any different, but when I touch you, I definitely feel muscles. <laughs> I bet I could even take down Aizen and Rokuro with a single well-placed hit. I'm not so sure, but okay. 
<laughs> Pianfu, I know we're placing a heavy burden on you with all this geoboard business, and I'm sorry for that. But we really appreciate it. You've been truly helpful. Aw, oh, Madam Eleanor, <laughs> you're too sweet. You're nothing like that mean old Miss Magiru. How are you coping with your fatigue? I'm kind of not, actually. In fact, I don't think I'll ever recover. Unless you give me a nice massage, Madam Eleanor. I think I can manage that. I didn't think that actually work. I'm quite good at working out those pressure points. I can really grind the butt of my spear in just the right spots and have you feeling refreshed in no time. But I have to warn you, it might hurt a little bit. What? You know what? Never mind. I'm good. Bad. You don't have to push so hard. Okay, that is refreshing, but ow, ow, ow. And that's the last skill, huh? I remember where we are now. <laughs> so I forgot where the hell we even were. Where the entrance to that cave? Volcano, whatever. It's actually quite a long trip if you think about it. And at this point, we are literally at the end of the game at this point. Once we go here, we're pretty much going towards the final boss and the final dungeon. So at this point I think we can just do whatever we want. I know something going on in this inn. I guess we can't travel anywhere yet. How's it going, Dial? <laughs> Glad to see you made it back in one piece, Velvet. I'm here on orders from the boss to help you guys out. We could certainly use it. How are things back in the city? I came here from Helleviz, so I don't know how far the suppression has progressed. But I can tell you that the Abbeys designated the area north of Helleviz as a Class IV administrative zone. Which means they've pulled their forces out of the area. What about the people of Mercio? Everyone got out safe and sound, although they did petition for the extermination of the Lord of Calamity. Of course. I say we make this town our new hideout. When else are we ever gonna find a hideout that comes with hot springs? That's a good idea. We should leave Kamoana and the others here. Dial, could you stay and help them out? <laughs> As if you even had to ask. Well, that's surprisingly reliable for you, Dial. Hey, that hurts. Now get going already. Benwick and the crew are making preparations in Hellebees right now. You just like the idea of being in the hot tubs, huh? Hot springs, whatever. Hey, Rokuro. How'd the showdown with your brother turn out? I killed him. But I couldn't break Stormhowl. Is that because Stormhowl was an even stronger sword than Kuragane's? No. Even with Shigure's full strength behind it, Stormhowl didn't even leave a nick in Kurogane's blade. If I didn't have this sword, I'd be dead now. I think I just couldn't break Stormhowl because I'm still too inexperienced. But you won the match, didn't you? Yeah. But only by combining my techniques with Kurogane's craftsmanship. If that's the case, then as long as you're wielding it, that sword is Storm Quell. After all, Kurogane's sword did quell the God Blade's raging storm. Do you think Kurogane would agree? Are you kidding? You know how stubborn that guy is. 
He'd just say he'd forge something even stronger the next time. And that's why I say you shouldn't be satisfied with how you are either, Rokuro. I know. I'll find even stronger opponents to cut down. By my hand, Kurogane's Storm Quell will become even more legendary than Storm Howl ever was. That's the spirit! Show them what we demons can do! Whatever you say. Show them how I greet. Anything else going on in town? Not really. Might as well grab this again. What's with all the cows here? <laughs> it is. Hey, we haven't been in here yet. Because that's what Kogo there was. Oh, it says. That's all, it's alright. Absolutely nothing going on. I think oh that's the inner all right. So there's something going on in the in here. The next half of the episodes we're literally just gonna be exploring the world before we end the game. That was surprising me this far today. Probably will stop recording for today though. I mean for now at least. After we're done in town. And then actually grab lunch. I'm starving again. <laughs> You sound so serious, like it's the eve of the final battle. Well, isn't it? Can't you let yourself get caught up in the moment for a change? Getting caught up in the moment is for young, foolhardy lovers. So, what is it you want to talk about? I just figured I should drop by since, well, like I said, the final battle with Inominat is coming up and all. Ugh. You're talking like you're saying your last goodbyes. It's just that we're up against a lot. Even Miss Mogilu doesn't know what the future holds for us, and she almost always has that stuff figured out. Whether she has it figured out or not, it is our lot in life to follow our vessels and fight to the very end. That's what I've always thought, so I just dealt with Miss Mogilu's craziness up till now. But she's never thanked me for it. No, good job, Bienfu. No, I'm glad I'm your vessel. Not even something like, I'll introduce you to a cute girl when it's all over. It'd be nice to hear a little gratitude from her, even just once. Surely you know she's not the type to do that sort of thing, though, yes? That's all the more reason to want just one brief glimpse at who she is underneath. If you're so unhappy, it's not too late to switch back to the Abbey's side and become an informant again. Oh, what's the point in that? I don't know anything they'd want, and they wouldn't have any use for me there. So you lack confidence in your own abilities. Miss Moggy Lewis let me come with her wherever she went, and her talents have gotten us this far. But now that we have to fight Inominat, I'm worried. I don't know what use I can be for her. Or if I can keep her safe. But you'll still go, won't you? Yeah, of course. Or else my name isn't Norman Brave. See, you can do this. You've been keeping Moggy Lou safe this whole time. With all the emotional pain she's been through, she's needed someone as thick-skinned and tenacious as you. 
She may talk like she doesn't care, but she wouldn't have tracked you down and renewed your pact if she didn't. When you put it like that, bien! All right, you convinced me! That's right. You just trust an old Norman therapist's good advice. It won't steer you wrong. Wow! I'd have never expected you to actually make a joke like that, Grimoire! I just thought I'd get caught up in the moment like you wanted. <sighs> and she's back to the usual cell. I guess that's probably everything in the cell. Unless something else popped up. I got my water. And I guess we'll just call it an episode here. And next time we'll actually start exploring the world and seeing what we can do before the final battle. So till then, stay golden.